Okay, I gotta make this recording as quick as I can cause a good old loudspeaker. But I'm gonna hit as many stores today as I can. It is about 7.15 Tuesday morning, which is auction night. And my goal is to hit every Walmart, Dollar Tree, and maybe a few other stores between here, going all the way up to Rome, and then back around. So, let's see if I can catch any deals. I think there's seven Walmarts in my line of sight. Also, I will be displaying pictures of the apps that I use in each store, so that way you know how I am researching. And if you like this kind of content, give me a like, and don't forget to subscribe below to catch more content as I put it out. Okay, this clearance aisle really doesn't have much on it, but I wanna bring this to your attention. These are on sale for $49.99. Their original price is $97. And if you are in the market for a battery, I will also show a screenshot. Just wanted you to see that. And here's the barcode. And if you want to put them on Amazon as a new seller, I am allowed to sell them. But right now, my budget will not allow me to do $50 to flip it for a little over $50 profit. All right, this is Walmart number two. Let's see what we can find. Okay, okay this Walmart is kind of has a fair selection. All the prices seem to be right on. I did want to bring your attention to these. I've not seen these before. They're $10 here. There's the barcode. I'll put a screenshot up of what the potential profit would be. But not much. Nope. 10 cent games, actually no games less than 20. These are also on clearance. These baby monitors, no touch. That is the price that it's scanning at. And there's the barcode if you want to check your local store. So it's something to keep an eye on. Um, they do not sell on Amazon, but I do sell on eBay. That's as far as I can go. I don't want to put the worker in the thing. So about the only thing I'm getting at this Walmart is this little nail filer for me. I am looking around for those lights and the heaters. Um, I'm gated for the oil, but keeping my eyes open, doing a quick walkabout. I'm hoping to get lucky somewhere today. But not every time you go shopping, you're gonna hit the jackpot. It all depends on what day you hit it at. So I'm gonna go look at those humidifiers here in the baby's area and see if I can get my hands on anything. Okay, there was nothing in that Walmart, but I do have to give a hot tip to all you women. If you hit the public bathrooms, keep a water toilet paper in your purse. I swear I always get the booth with no toilet paper. Thank God I keep some toilet paper. Off to the next I one. I just came out of that Dollar Tree and I was all prepared to tell you all I hit the jackpot. But guess what? Look at what I got. All of them books. And every one of them is about two to three dollar profit and I paid $29.96 at the Dollar Tree. I asked her, when she said she loves it when people come in and buy a bunch of books, I asked her how often do they come in? She says, nobody's been in here for a long time. Yeah, I'll be hitting it at least once a month. They have a 
really nice little clearance thing here. But I have not really seen prices at a good clearance price. They're all like a dollar off or whatnot. And I've scanned with their app. Nothing is hidden clearance. But thought I'd let you see. I came in for knee pads for my husband, but they didn't have any of the good ones he likes. I am not gated to sell these. I'll show you a screenshot, but the problem is I buy it for $3.49 and that's exactly what the profit is. Well, not really profit if you got to take out the cost of the item. So, off to more shopping. There is some really great deals, but nothing to really resell. So, let's go find us a Dollar Tree or a Walmart. Just like all Walmarts, all their masks are on clearance. And I've already scanned everything. Everything is priced as marked. They've only got like a couple dollars off of everything or 50 cents off Lego Spider-Man it's down to 40 for you Lego lovers but nothing is really marked down to a good price here I was really hoping that was a little bit cheaper because I've got two teenagers. Both of them claim they didn't take mine, but I can't find it anywhere. But just to see you, let you see this clearance aisle. Kind of give you an idea what's going on clearance. Kind of almost looks like the same stuff really not a good enough cheap price everything is still high priced I scanned that one and it actually came up to full price at $10.97 so this Walmart is a bust but all of the Walmarts has this Elmer's so I'm restricted can't sell it so check out your Walmart This Walmart had the Big Buddy down to $30, and it's over $200 on Amazon. I'm not restricted, but I think I'm keeping this one. There's the barcode. So, so far, got me. So you can see, $30 for that heater. Now, the question is, do I want to profit $130? Or do I want to keep it for my shed this winter time? Don't know. Guess that's a decision I will make closer to time. Unless I can get my hands on some more of them. So, if I can find some more, then yeah, I'll sell them. I cannot send them in as FBA, but I can sell them as FBM. Okay, I think this is going to be Walmart number four. And then... We got a Dollar Tree right there. And you know what? I'm hungry. So I'm going to Hong Kong for lunch after the Dollar Tree. So let's see if we can find some more good books. This Dollar Tree actually has a toy that I am not gated in, but it doesn't bring very much profit. There's the barcode. But it only brings back like a dollar something profit. Must scan some more. They must have known I was coming. I only got three books in there. But now I'm going to go eat. Love my seafood. Does that not look good? Alright, just had my lunch. I'm going to shoot this real quick before somebody else comes in. I got a bunch of these sanitation cases. Personal chillers. Hangers. So petty stuff. Good. 
Okay. I've checked the books. I've checked for the two different heaters I'm after now. It was just one. I've checked the lights. I've checked the clearance aisle. This Walmart's right off the freeway, so I think it's like a hot topic for people like me. I'm gonna go glance at toys and then head to the next one. Oh yeah, and I also looked for those night vision goggles because I wouldn't mind a pair for myself. I live out in the woods. I'd like to see who's making noises out in them woods. Yeah, nothing here. And it's right off the freeway. But my main list I'm looking for is small because I was basically pulling a crocodile dundee going on a drive-about instead of a walkabout. Now, to find my lost car again. And see you at the next Walmart. I think I'm going to skip one of the Walmarts that I'd planned to go to. It's kind of like a V-shaped out, so I'm just going to go straight up because I'm kind of running out of time to get to the auction. It's already 3.15. Alright, this Walmart seems to be deserted. Usually I find a Dollar Tree next one. Okay, I found those Brookline Vintage lamps. They're advertising 14, but they're actually seven, and I'd make maybe a dollar profit, so I'm gonna pass it up. But as far as the clearance aisle, not really much here. Got padlocks, a lot of this stuff I'm restricted or it's too high priced. So far, the only thing that I have is these guys, which they are $1.55. There's the barcode. And the reason I keep showing you the barcode because if I hold it there long enough and you point your cell phone at the screen at the time of the barcode, you can scan it with your Amazon app and see if you're ungated to get it. Which, basically everything that I'm ungated for, more than likely you're ungated for because I'm a new kid on the block. There are a couple things that I got instantly ungated for. seeing any heaters oh yeah and I got this from my mom you know how I'm crazy about Mickey Mouse she's crazy about Elvis the night vision goggles I'm looking for is similar to that they've been seen on clearance for five dollars but I am not seeing them Okay, that Walmart's a bust, but I have an hour and a half to get to the auction house. I did not realize I was almost to Atlanta, which is about two hours away. So, I gotta skip the other Walmarts and skip any Dollar Trees I see, but I need to get to that auction. Nothing but junk here. for all you jewelry lovers. I don't know enough about it. It's a patio set. It's got an umbrella with it.
I don't know, it looks like a TV tray. tray. Yep. It's one of them right there. On that right there. Uh, okay. Yep. Hmm. Looks like a TV tray, laptop holder. Pretty neat. It is pretty cool. Is there boxes of them? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Boxes of boxes and boxes of them. Well, you'd have enough for company in your living room. <laughs> okay, those little TV trays is a maybe. What do we got back here? Nothing. Bar stools. Huh. More boxes like I got the last time with more of them peelers. Cell phone cases. Pretty good on makeup, but only if it's sealed. <laughs> Had a couple of these in my last box, and my chandelier actually takes those, and I was in need of light bulbs, so that came in handy. I think I'm gonna stay at the auction. There's not really anything here I want. It's nasty outside, it's rainy. So I might go and try to hit maybe another Walmart or two, some Dollar Trees, then head home and call it a night. Quite a bit of different miscellaneous stuff on this clearance rack. Slowly going through it. Found that for $2. I'll make a dollar profit on Amazon, but I'm keeping it. I know, you're not supposed to be shopping for yourself. But this thing's always been so empty, so I'm going to go through it as fast as I can. I'll let you know if I get anything. All right, I'm done in that clearance aisle. I got these. The little bubbas. There's the barcode. They're $4 on clearance and I'm gonna double my money on it. They're going for like, I'll be making like $8 profit. These here, I cannot remember the exact profit, but I'm paying 75 cents. There's the barcode. And I will link what I'm making right next to me. Also, I'm not gated for this. I'm paying $5. There's the barcode if you want to see if you're gated. And I believe I'm doubling my money on that. So, yeah. And then, of course, this is for me, for my grandbabies. So, I'm getting tired. I might be done. Okay, I'm done for the day. Stopped, went ahead and got my hair cut that I've been needing to get done. So, 
Hope it's not going to look that, that bad in the videos anymore. And that place, nah. They were at the flea market, and I guess they decided to step up their game since the flea market's been shut down for quite a while. It's opening back up now, but I guess they decided they wanted their own store. But there's some stuff in there that's a dollar, but not much, and they don't have any books. But I'm done for the day. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you like this kind of content. And while you're down there, say hello. Have a good one. See you on the next one.